the elite women's basketball players in college level, you can't help but not include Paige, Paige Beckers. Uh, she had a season off um, where she tore ACL, but has come back like 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 a fire truck um, and just just leading her team in a different way. Um, really improved the game um, phenomenally. Um, she's she's a guard, but plays like a power forward and a guard put together. Um, so almost like a Kevin Durant. Um, she's she's actually in the conversation of um, Caitlin Clark, Haley Van Lin, their previous teammates of uh, Angel Reese. Uh, they played in the FIBA Women's World Cup together since they were young adults, you know. So I think she's taking the college scene by storm, um, most definitely. Um, and I, I'm excited to watch her progress through the rest of March Madness and what numbers she can put up. I get to represent money multiple. I'm at the top of the charts, unapproachable. Bread by the loaf, turbo the motor, tit tat toe, kill another vulture, selling their bows. Bitch do yoga, I deserve a royal, serving these boulders. A hundred grand large when the shop, that's a total. Fill up the garage, bitch, I'm a mogul. Ain't no facade, ain't no fugazi. I jump it off, I get paid. Drop to a rush, I'm going crazy. I put a shop, smoking on haze. Not trying to floss, cardiac shades. Came in the cup, gotta get paid. King in the streets. Y'all nigga made spraying on the crowd, take it to the grave. Ain't having problems, I'm sipping the bar. Shout out to Dallas, my bitch is a star. Nigga get rich, better take it to war. Piss on your casket, shoot at your bra. Do you something nasty, roll you in a car. Bitch get graphic, fuck me in a car. I get your brand new roll of the mark. I put that brand new roll on your arm. Ain't no slow, but I'm still on arm. Tennis braces and they came with the frost. Cuba links all the way up to your jaw. Step up the swag when I step on a bra. Talk night feeling, tie you be a hero, but live long enough to see yourself become a villain, a villain, a villain. Yet another Final Four. They are a much improved team from the one we saw lose five games in the non-conference. Each one of those losses to a team who has at least a three seed in this tournament. Paige Beckers is having another Player of the Year caliber season, leading UConn in scoring, steals, and block shots. Aaliyah Edwards is having an All-American campaign. And while UConn has some youth, two freshmen in their starting lineup, remember that the other three starters have been to multiple Final Fours. The National Player of the Year in high school and during her freshman year at UConn. The junior averaged over 20 points a game during the regular season and was absolutely dominant during the Huskies title run through the Big East Tournament. And just like that, we mentioned Paige Beckers and here she is, the Big East Player of the Year. Uh, thanks for joining us here on SportsCenter, Paige. When you face Jackson State on Saturday, it will have been 720 days since you last played in an NCAA tournament game. What kind of thoughts are you processing? Well, first, thank you for having me, but that's, I never even knew that number, but that's actually insane to hear. Um, just around two years of not playing in the most important part of basketball and what you prepare for your entire life. So before the Big East tournament, I just told myself to embrace it, just to have fun. This is what you prepare your entire life for. Um, and I don't know, hearing that number is crazy, but I'm extremely grateful to be playing basketball again. It really does put it into perspective. And of course, for the folks at home, you missed all of last season after tearing your ACL. But your comeback has been even more elite than your debut when you won AP Player of the Year as a freshman. Where have you impressed yourself the most this season? I think in terms of like using my strength and what I did that entire offseason, um, coming back, rehabbing from my ACL. Um, I've kind of sort of turned into a power forward with all the injuries that we have here at, at UConn. And just to imagine freshman page guarding the forwards, guarding the fours, rebounding, um, defending at the level that I am now, I think is the most surprising part for me, but and also the most rewarding seeing all that hard work pay off.
You mentioned the injuries. Only one player has been available for every game the last three seasons. That was Aaliyah Edwards. And then she got hurt in the Big East tournament when she broke her nose. How has this team coped with an unprecedented level of injuries? Resilience, um, a whole lot of faith. Um, our team has a, a great group of girls who have a great group of, of faith and just confidence in, in, in each other. Um, and when you've been dealt so many blows, you kind of just adapt to every single one. Um, and just the resilience, I've never seen it before, all this stuff happening at once um, and this many blows, but just to lean on each other for strength um, and just the perseverance to, to get through anything and we're at UConn. Everybody expects us to win, no matter if there's four people on the floor. So just having that mentality um, and embracing it has really gotten us through. Started yesterday with seven unanswered. Paige Becker's automatic. And she's looking for a foul call. They're finishing through Paige Becker's, the Big East player of the year, and she has been showcased. There's Maya Bembry. There's Becker's with the rejection. It'll stay with the Hoyas. Into the second side, Paige Becker's averaging type of conference tournament play, eventually NCAA tournament play. Paige Becker's, Gino or Paige. Oh no, they got some competition. Becker's is fouled and one. She just responded with, I'm the most popular human in this building. <laughs> She's like, that joke isn't it. Oh! That's bad. She is cold, gets fouled. Opportunity for a four-point play. Her team. A great producer, Carol Langley, said, speak up. I can't hear you. I said, uh-uh. Oh. Beckers can't hit the first one, but bounces right back. And steals some picks, some easier points to see it go through. Page buckets. Already 13. This is just pouring it on. Look at how deep she is. Perfection in the rotation. Good little dribble handoff from Nico. And with this four guard lineup, they can run. Beckers. Oh, the Huskies are an avalanche. And Darnell Haney's trying to stop. Yeah, talk to me nice because I lost state in the or yeah, I lost in the state championship three years in a row. And then finally my junior year, we got it. We went 32-0. And we finished like top five in the nation. It was one of the funnest years, because I could finally get a ring, finally wear it. Did they used to call you a trumper or anything? They used to make fun of me, yeah, because I lose all the time. Who? <laughs> the state, I mean. <laughs> just be around? Yeah, they were just hating on me, saying, like, I can do all this and all that, but I can't win a state championship. But I got one, so I can't say anything now. I think she passes the ball better than anybody I've ever seen. Like a Magic Johnson type of, of kid. I sat with Paige when she was in ninth grade and we did a goal sheet where she, you know, what do you want out of this? What do you want to do? And I remember she said, I don't want to just go to USA, I want to make the USA team. I want to get an offer by UConn. You know, I want to win state. And she wrote those goals down and then she achieved those goals. It was kind of just natural. I would really say a lot of what I have is God's gift because I for sure didn't get it from my parents. It just came so natural to me, and I loved doing it, so whenever I could, I would get out there and play. But I wasn't like grinding like 24-7 in the gym, like, rah. I was, I was just like, whenever I could, I would go hoop. has such a hunger to want to get better and just like want to keep pushing herself and I'm like I asked her what motivates you she goes I haven't done nothing yet even though she's number one she's like I still haven't done nothing so there's a lot more work that I have to do and she's willing to come in and, and face every challenge that I throw at her she don't complain and she just works so 
I mean, that's, that's going to keep her at the top. My dad, before every game, he always tells me, be you, be great. And that's something that I've always tried to stick with. And I want to stay gracious and full of gratitude and giving all glory to God. Like, I, like just being cocky and acting different and being like, oh, I should get this and I should get that because, oh, I'm Paige Becker's. Like, no, that's just never something that I want to live by. And so I take huge pride in that, just, just staying true to myself. I used to play Fortnite. The most kills I got in, three, in one game was three. Yeah. My shoelaces say shoelaces. <laughs> I don't know, I've been rocking the Under Armour. So like the Currys, I went to the Steph Curry camp. So these are like exclusive to the camp. I was really feeling like Curry. Like I was doing this. I did like double between, behind the back, and then I pulled it and then I dropped it as soon as I shot it. And it went in and I looked at Steph and he looked at me and he was like, I was like, <laughs> it was lit. Cause I, I really felt like Curry. First, I'd like to say all glory to God because, I mean, this is better than I could have ever imagined. Um, I'm just a small town kid with really big dreams and I'm honored to show all the little kids that are watching this that dreams do come true if you work hard and you have great faith in your life. Um, a huge shout out to my friends and my family and everybody that helped me get to be where I am today, um, especially my coaches and my teammates. Um, I stand on just on this stage alone, but without them I wouldn't have this award um, and they've sacrificed so much for me. Okay, sorry. I just had ankle surgery. I'm out of breath, okay. out of shape. But now, um, with the light that I have now, um, as a white woman who leads a black-led sport um, and celebrated here, I want to show a light on black women. Um, they don't get the media coverage that they deserve. Um, they've given so much to this sport and the community and society as a whole, and their value is un undeniable. Um, and in the WNBA, last season, the postseason awards, 80% of the winners were black, but they got half the coverage as the white athletes. So I think it's time for change. Um, sports media holds the key to storylines. Spor sports media and sponsors tell us who is valuable. And you have told the world that I matter today. And everyone who voted, thank you. Um, but I think we should use this power together to also celebrate black women. So to Maria Taylor, Robin Roberts, Maya Moore, Odyssey Alexander, to all the incredible black women in my life, on my teams, to Breonna Taylor and all the lives lost, and to those names who have not yet learned, but I hope to share, I stand behind you and I will continue to follow, follow you and follow your lead and fight for you guys. So I just want to say thank you for everything. <laughs>